Welcome back to the channel. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to another video. I got this question earlier today. The question was, what should I do in my situation? This particular person, they said that they just literally bombed the test in nursing school and they're fearful that they may get kicked out. Okay. Because I believe in the first eight weeks, you can't fail a test or something like that. And they said to even make matters worse, they were driving down the road and I think they said eight deer, eight deer, you know, went out in the front and they, they ran into the deer and then they had to get the front of their car fixed. So it's just all kind of stuff like spiraling downward. Right. So what they said was they literally had a mental breakdown and they're just going through a whole lot of, a uh, whole lot of things. In other words, please help. All right. And first I want to say anybody who's going through anything, or if you have any type of question, uh, we just ask that you send your questions to souls gotta be saved at gmail.com, okay? And we'll be more than happy uh, to answer that question. It may just be me on the video. It may be, it may just be my wife on the video or maybe both of us together, right? But we do wanna get back to you uh, by way of video because your particular question, you know, can help other people as well, right? You know, and we ain't gonna say your name on the video, you know, everything confidential, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or you could just be like, some people be like, hey, my neighbor down the street want to know what he should do about it. <laughs> hey, you could word it however you want to, but we're not going to say your name unless you just type out, please say my name. <laughs> but anyway, let's get back to the video. We're not here to talk about saying names, okay? So listen, in your situation, what I want to help you understand is the fact that it is possible to have peace in the middle of a storm. It is possible to have the winds blowing. I'm talking about all kinds of stuff going on, but you're in your boat and you have peace and you literally don't understand why. You say, man, all this stuff is going. They got a shark right next to me outside the boat. The wind's blowing, this go. But why, why do I just have this peace on me? That's God. His word says he give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. So I just want to challenge you in this situation to seek Jesus, okay? Seek him in all of your ways. You have to literally lean on him. Just like a bike has to lean on the kickstand, you were developed to lean on him. You weren't designed to just stay like this and lean on your own understanding. No, we have to lean on something, all right? So you have to lean on Jesus because he is the provider of peace. He is peace, all right? Now, I'm not just, you know, telling you something just to make you feel good. Hey, I done been in college before. I done failed tests. I done failed classes. I got kicked out of college before, right? You know, had to earn my way back into college. I ended up graduating, right? But I failed classes. I failed uh, tests. I, I, I failed all kinds of stuff. So I just want to let you know, listen, it ain't the end of the world. You're going to be all right. Hey, if they kick you out of nursing school, guess what? You know, you just got to do what you got to do, you know, to work your way back. All right. You know, but you can have peace in the midst of that. That's not the end of the world. You know, God still can use you even with a 62 on the test. All right. So on your journey, let's say towards being a nurse. Hey, you know what, man? You know, if you have any questions about that, you know, my sister is a nurse. She might. Hey, look at the Lord, man. It might be. It might be meant for me to connect you with my sister. You know what I mean? My sister's a nurse, all right? She probably could tell you about passing the test. I can only tell you about failing, failing tests, because that's all I did, <laughs> all right? But hey, I passed this test by being obedient and making the video. So hey, have peace in the midst of that storm. Continue to study. Hey, listen, if they're going to kick you out, let them come and grab you by your book sack and escort you out. You just keep on showing up to class until they tell you otherwise, okay? Don't defeat yourself. All right. You know, don't defeat yourself. The battle, hey, the battle ain't over. All right. You're going to be all right. Maybe they won't kick you out, but you can have peace if they do kick you out like they did me. All right. But now nah, you're going to be all right, though. <laughs> hey, hope this video helped you out. I just want you with that peace tonight. All right. Continue to study, continue to progress. All right. And tell yourself, listen, I am a nurse. If God has given you that, if God has, has you know, literally shown you, hey, you're going to be a nurse, then guess what? It don't matter who come against you. It don't matter what a test score says. It don't matter what, what's going on. 
you continue pushing forward, right? And the more resilient you are, the more brave you are, the more the more confident you are, people will just get out your way. They'd be like, man, that, that girl know where she going. That guy know what he doing. Like he on the mission, she on the mission, right? So you have to keep pushing, okay? Failure is not final. The only way in the world that you could, the only way in the world that you could quit is if you give up, all right? The only way you can lose is if you give up. Don't give up. Stay in the fight. Love you all so much. Remember, send your questions to soulsgottobesaved at gmail.com. We love you all so much. God bless you. Talk to you on the next video.